we want to answer the following percent questions. To answer these questions, we'll be using the percent equation and these keywords, where is means equals, of means multiplication, and what, what number or what percent represents the unknown, so we write down the variable. Let's find these keywords in each of our questions. Here's is, here's of, and here's what number, what percent, what number, and what percent. Now let's set up our equations. If we're ever given the percent in the question, we must convert that percent to a decimal. So our first question is 65% of 55 is what number? So for 65%, we need to convert this to a decimal, which would be 0 0.65. So we have 0 0.65 of means times, then we have 55, so times 55 is means equals, and then we have what number, which represents the unknown. Let's use the variable n. Notice how here n is equal to this product. So going to the calculator, we have 0.65 times 55, which is equal to 35.75. However, notice our directions do say round to one decimal place. So if we round to one decimal place, notice how n would be approximately 35.8. So because our directions do say round, we'll enter 35.8, not 35.75. Let's see if this makes sense. 65% of 55 is approximately 35.8. This does seem reasonable because 65% of 55 would obviously be less than 55, but more than half of 55, which 35.8 is. Our next question, 70 is what percent of 280? So we begin with 70 is, we write down 70 equals. What percent represents the unknown? Here we're finding a percent. Let's use the variable p, and then we have of 280, so we have times 280. Well, p times 280 is equal to 280p, so we have 70 equals 280p. To solve for p, we divide both sides by 280. So on the right, we have just p. On the left, this simplifies to 1 fourth, which is equal to 0 0.25, but just in case we don't recognize this, 70, divided by 280 is equal to 0 0.25. This is the percent expressed as a decimal. We want to convert this to a percentage. 0 0.25 is equal to 25 percent. To convert a decimal to a percentage, we multiply by 100 and add a percent sign, or move the decimal point to the right two places and add a percent sign. Notice how the percent sign is already in our question, so we just enter 25. 70 is 25 percent of 280. Next we have 145 is 70 percent of what number? So we begin with 145 is, so we have 145 equals, 70 percent as a decimal would be 0 0.70. We can drop the zero in the hundredths. 70 percent is equal to 0 0.7. Then we have of what number? So we'll have times the unknown. Let's use the variable n. So we have 145 equals 0.7n. So we divide both sides by 0 0.7. We'll probably have to round here. 145 divided by 0.7 to one decimal place would be approximately 207.1. One hundred forty five is seventy percent of approximately two hundred seven point one. And now for our last question, two hundred eighty five is what percent of two hundred five? So we have two hundred eighty five is means equals what percent? Let's use the variable p. And then we have of two hundred five, so we have times two hundred five. So we have two hundred eighty five is equal to two hundred five p. So to solve for p, we divide both sides by two hundred five. Simplifying, we have p is going to be equal to, we'll probably have to round though, so approximately this quotient here 
Remember, we do have to convert this decimal to a percentage to answer the question. So we have 285 divided by 205, enter. We need to be careful here. We don't want to round this value to one decimal place because we have to convert this to a percentage. We want the percentage to be rounded to one decimal place. And therefore, we'll have to round this to three decimal places, which would be approximately 1.390. Again, this is the decimal value of our percentage. Now we need to convert this decimal to a percentage. So move the decimal point to the right two places or multiplying by 100. Notice how we'd have 139.0 percent. Let's see if this makes sense. 285 is approximately 139 percent of 205. This does make sense because notice how 285 is more than 205 and therefore it would be more than 100 percent of 205. I hope you found this helpful.